Now we'll deal with roll dome removal and installation. Uh, Crown Verity roll domes are designed to be removed. They are an accessory. Uh, they're held in place with a couple of stainless steel pins at the back and slide into these tracks. Um, this could be part of a repair sequence, um, could be a new purchase where you've just recently received a new roll dome. We'll show you how to install one. Um, or perhaps you just prefer to cook with an open top grill. We'll show you how to safely remove it and reinstall it. So the first thing we'll want to do is remove the two stainless steel pins at the back of the grill, close the roll dome part way, and start sliding it back, just about two inches. And at this point, you'll probably want to get some help. So we'll start sliding this, pulling it out. And as we get close to the end, we want to make sure that we're supporting the inner part of the roll dome with our hands, okay? We'll go ahead and we'll just pull that off, nice and easy, lay it on the ground. Whether you've completed your repairs, you're reinstalling the roll dome because you did an event where you didn't need it, or you've purchased a brand new one. We'll show you how to safely install a new one. So again, as in removal, we're gonna support both parts of the roll dome, two people. Take it to the grill. We wanna make sure we're aligning the inner skin with the tracks. It can't be on top, it must be in the track. Slide it on all the way and we'll put the stainless steel pins in.